if you've watched our lesson on the common pathway of the complement cascade, you'll see some familiar friends over there giving each other a high five, which also that's a weird thing to put on your tomb. Anyway, it means one thing. We're still talking about complement, but don't worry, I promise this will end soon. In this sketch, we're going to explore the three different ways complement can get activated. In our lesson on the complement cascade, we learned that all roads lead to the common pathway. But if you don't know where you came from, you can't know where you're going, or something like that. So let's talk about each of these activation pathways. As a quick refresher, each complement activation pathway converges on the big moment when C3 gets cleaved into C3A and C3B. And after that, it does a whole bunch of stuff that we talk about in our other lesson. But safe to say it's magnificent, sorry. Anyway, the first pathway we'll talk about is the classical or antibody dependent pathway. And we'll symbolize that with this row of classical columns sporting an antibody shaped nest. Of all the three pathways, this is the most complicated one, so don't worry, it'll all be easy after this. 